Well, Jeff's done it again. In what's become an 18-month product cycle, Jeff's introduced a version of MM Basic that runs on a 28-pin version of the PIC microprocessor and only requires a 3-volt battery and a capacitor to make a full working computer. You can buy a Micromite pre-programmed for just under $7, um, but that'll cost you about another $15 to get delivered. Or you can buy them unprogrammed for about uh, just under $4. Uh, again, it's going to be $15 to get delivered, so naturally, of course, you'll want to buy 10 to amortise the postage costs. If you buy blank chips, you'll need to get a PIC Kit 3 programmer to put MM Basic on them. I bought this one uh, from eBay for $22 delivered from China, uh, and it came with everything, including a software CD. I then made up a programming jig, uh, which has the uh, capacitor and 3 volt battery necessary to drive the Micromite. I wasn't entirely comfortable loading the Chinese software that came with my PIC Kit 3, so I downloaded the software from the microchip website, which worked perfectly well with my PIC Kit 3. Once MM Basic is loaded, you only need a serial connection to program the Micromite. Now, my computer doesn't have a serial connection. And in any case, you need serial TTL rather than RS-232 Direct. And I was astonished to find on a uh, eBay Chinese website that you could get a uh, USB to TTL serial converter for a dollar, postage included. Three weeks later, and almost to my surprise, the device did arrive without any software, but a quick look at the chip designation led me to a website that uh, had a, a Windows driver which I could then use. TerraTerm is a good terminal emulator to use with the Micromite. Uh, we just need to find the serial port we're talking to, set it to the right board rate. Once MM Basic is loaded onto the Micromite, all I need to do is connect the USB to serial adapter to the Micromite. The Micromite remembers the last program that was entered in its memory uh, and you can edit programs using the full screen editor um, which works with the Terra term perfectly well. I've just got it to run a uh, Primes program which I used with um, the uh, original Micromites to compare performance. Uh, the original Micromites would sorry, Maximites would calculate the first thousand primes in about 17 seconds. In this case, the Micromite takes somewhat longer to calculate the first thousand primes, but it's still pretty quick um, and certainly adequate for the sorts of projects that you're likely to want a single chip embedded system for. After my initial success buying from eBay from China, I went on to get a few other things. Um, infrared remote control receivers, dollar each, postage included. Um, a couple of uh, real-time clocks, a dollar for two delivered, and uh, ten uh, real-time clock crystals, a uh, dollar thirty-seven delivered. I had to buy two of these LCD displays uh, in order to amortise the cost of the postage. They wanted an extra two dollars for that. I made up this test bed to uh, try out some of the things that I bought from the eBay Chinese websites. This one has a Micromite with some code to use a real-time clock, um, uh, an LCD 
and an infrared remote control receiver which you can see is working just fine. All of these functions are built into MM Basic. so if you have a look at the code uh, that I used to do just this little test program we can connect the TTL serial to the Micromite then we can interrupt the program by typing control C and get the Micromite prompt and if I list the program that's all it is, just a few lines of code to use the real-time clock, update the LCD uh, and to accept input from the infrared remote control. So with this growing range of MM Basic products ranging from the original Maximite all the way through to the uh, new Micromite, anyone can create an intelligent device. All you need is a great idea.